Who is Sophia Alrish Aviv? And why does ISIS care about her? She's remembered as the would-be bomber whose device failed to detonate in a string of otherwise deadly terror attacks at Jordanian hotels in 2005. But just who is the woman supposedly named in the latest hostage demand from ISIS? And what's her connection to the new radical Sunni group that controls big swaths of Syria and Iraq? Sophia al-Rashani is referred to as an imprisoned sister of the terrorist group in a message purportedly posted online by a known ISIS supporter. The message proposes the swap of al-Rashani for Japanese hostage Kenji Goto. In the video, Goto is seen holding a photo of what appears to be beheaded compatriot Ryuna Yukawa. The online posts, which CNN could not verify independently appeared four days after an ISIS video demanded that the Japanese government pay $200 million within 72 hours for the hostages' release. In the latest recording, the voice of a person claiming to be Goto is heard in English blaming Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe for Yukawa's death. Foregoing the money, the voice then issues a new ISIS demand, the release of all Rishai. They are just demanding the release of their imprisoned sister Sabina al-Rashai, the voice set out of sight for almost a decade al-Rashai, who is being held by authorities in Jordan, has not been seen publicly in nine years. Sabina al-Rashai is seen in a frame from Jordanian television in 2005 where she confessed her participation in the deadly attacks at Amman hotels. Sabina al-Rashani is seen in a frame from Jordanian television in 2005 where she confessed her participation in the deadly attacks at Amman hotels. In a televised confession in November 2005, al-Rashani calmly recounted how she tried to take part in a string of terror attacks at Jordanian hotels that month that killed at least 57 people. My husband detonated his bomb, and I tried to detonate mine but failed. Al Rashadi said on Jordanian television, showing no emotion. People fled running, and I left running with them. In 2006, Al Rashadi was sentenced to death, but that same year, Jordan imposed a moratorium on the death penalty. Executions resumed last month. Wearing a white headscarf and black dress during the confession, Al Rashadi displayed a belt rigged with explosives and crudely held together with tape. Jordanian authorities said al Rashid, now in her 40s, joined her husband, Hussein Darli al shamri to carry out the suicide bombings at the Radisson Hotel. His explosives went off, killing 38 people attending the wedding reception in the ballroom. Three male bombers and 57 bystanders were killed at three hotels in the series of attacks. She said she was an Iraqi who lived in Ramadi and, using fake passports, traveled to Jordan with her husband. She told Jordanian authorities that her husband taught her how to use her explosives belt. In the confession, al Rashadi said, My husband is the one who organized everything on Jordan. al Qaeda was behind attacks Jordanian authorities at the time said the attacks were orchestrated by the terrorist group al Qaeda in Iraq, which was led by Jordanian-born Abu Musa al Dar Qaib. Al Dar Kahi was killed in a U.S. strike in June 2006. A post on a website used by Al Qaeda in Iraq claimed responsibility for the Jordan attacks. Deputy Prime Minister Marwan Mudashir said after the attacks that Al Rashadi is the sister of Dar Kahi's right hand man, who was killed in Fallujah, Iraq. He did not identify the lieutenant. This image from video posted on a militant website on July 5 purports to show ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi delivering a sermon at a mosque in Iraq. This image from video posted on a militant website on July 5 purports to show ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi delivering a sermon at a mosque in Iraq. ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was a lieutenant of al zar Qaeda, retired lieutenant Gal. James Reese, the former U.S. Delta Force commander, told CNN. There's a link back to this woman, Reese said of the alleged prisoner swap. This is just another way to help them ISIS bring these people back and help with their propaganda.